Hey, it's Kay Jones, and I just got called pretty much by a phone scammer who tries to get access to your computer. What he was saying was that I was with some company, then they were going to refund me money because I got software service from them a year ago or in 2015 or something like that, and that they're going out of business. I'm going to try and call them back um, and try to do a little phone scam on them back trying just to waste their time because people like this who waste our time to scam our money it just it makes me so upset this may not work but i'm basically going to pretend like my name's kendall um they called me earlier and knew my real name but we're going to see how this is going to work um and also do you never trust scammers like this if they ever want access to your computer or anything like that it's a big deal I was a cybersecurity major and I'm a semester away from graduating I could graduate in finance or cyber personally I prefer finance but I like this kind of stuff too um, so I'm gonna call this guy back and say I'm Kendall and see if this works here we go for calling if you know your party's extension you may dial it now or to dial by name press star Hi, my name is Kendall, and I heard that I was supposed to, I got disconnected, but basically I was supposed to get some kind of refund um, from your company. All right, miss, can I please confirm your first and your last name? Yeah, it's Kendall Jackson. Okay, okay, just give me a quick moment. Um, and where are y'all located? Because I still need help um, fixing my computer. And I know y'all are giving this refund because y'all are going out of business, but someone said that y'all would help me for free um, on my computer before y'all refunded me. But let me just tell you what exactly the thing is that, you know, we are going out of the business, that is something else. But the thing is that, you know, we are going out of the business means like we are switching our business, okay? It doesn't mean that we don't have the knowledge of that business. So the thing is that we are initiating the refund for the services which you had purchased, okay? And the reason behind that is that I guess you know about that, that if any company is going out of the business and if the customers are still in the support or in the services of the company, then it's our part of job to help, correct? Right. All right. So, Miss, let me just tell you that there is an online process, like we have to register you online with the refundable department to initiate your refund, okay? Okay. So and your name is going to be Kendall, correct? Yeah, my name is Kendall Jackson, and they said that they would refund me $199. Exactly, Miss. You will get the refund of $199. So, are you nearby the computer? Um, yeah, I am, but it's not the same computer that I had that y'all did software work on. It's not the same computer. That's not an issue. Is basically, we just need to register you with the refundable department, okay? Okay. Don't y'all already have my credit card information, though, from earlier? Yes, we don't want your credit card information, okay? We just simply need to register you with the refundable department. Okay. So am I going to get transferred to the department, then? Exactly, Miss. Okay. So for that, first, you need to turn on the computer? Okay. It's on. All right, now just do one thing. Just go ahead and open your Google Chrome. Okay, and I have a question for you, if that's okay. Uh huh. Go ahead. Um, how do you feel scamming people for your job? What did he say? How do you feel scamming people for your job? What did he say, Miss? How do you feel that you're scamming people for your job? Miss, who is scamming? Um, this number is widely known to scam people, and I never had anyone with software development. Um, and also, you would never access my computer to refund me. And that's why I'm calling back is to simply take your time, since you took my time, and really show that you should not be doing this to people. It's... Okay, he hung up. But you see what I'm saying is that these people are going to mess with you. So mess with them back. And also that number, in case you get called by them, is one 217 
0826. Now, I don't know how else to report this stuff besides putting it on the internet. People get scammed by this kind of stuff all the time, and these people sound legit, okay? So, really, just fight for it, and um, don't fall for these scams unless it's a legit company. Do your research. People fall for IRS calls, all kinds of stuff, and um, I may go back and get my cyber major because these types of things really upset me. Um, I'm kind of sad that he didn't continue on that conversation, but it shows that um, obviously he was a scammer and uh, there's no way that anyone should have any access to your computer. Now, of course, if it's Microsoft and or anything like that or a legit company that you are calling um, and you're very familiar with their direct number and such, it's fine. But just be careful about stuff like this. I thought you all would find this interesting. Um, and please don't fall for these types of scams, especially that scam in particular. It's spreading around. Thanks so much for watching, guys.